Hey everybody, how goes it? My name is Jamor, and welcome back to the quarry. Duh. I've been looking at this, and I've been thinking. Uh, this was a quarry. This says they flooded the quarry to make the lake. Usually quarries don't have rivers running to them. But, sure. They made a whole fake river for it. That's an awful shallow quarry. Must have been running for long. Anyway, back to Naked Lady. Okay. Where was she having her boy. phone? What got two thumbs and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark? This fool... Well, one thumb. One available thumb. Okay. And it was here. On the strange, uninhabited island that this brave young soul found herself. Where was she keeping that phone? Okay, full disclosure. I've suddenly found myself on a, oh, a strange, tiny little island all alone with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, do well, I walk around in my underwear over there. for some reason? See if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Because here's the thing, not that I want to go back because I don't, but even if I did, I can't because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. God, you know what, sorry, I'm venting. Oh, explore venting. You know what, fuck it. Let's do it. To the treehouse, fellow explorers. Somebody's there. But why, where was... I get the joke of where the phone could have been, but... Being serious, where was that phone? No prizes for guessing what these are. Can't say that I've used them. A little too au naturel for me, TBH. Nobody says TBH. Nope. I never thought about where the waste goes. Oh. Oh, please, God, no. Okay. We're gonna just go ahead and ignore that. And then she'll bring the camera down as he carries that, filming her boobs in her underwear, which would get her banned. Going back to the dock. And she does not have enough underwear for her to have that in her underwear. She had to have that clenched somewhere. What the hell was that? Is that you, Jacob? Nope. I knew it. What the hell is that? Oh, plant. Okay. That's just some benches. meeting shelter. It's a shelter where you meet at. Okay, I'm trying really hard to make this interesting, but sometimes a thing just is what it is. That battery's gonna be dead time. in minutes. Or you could just say it's the rain shelter, which is more likely what it is. Somewhere to get in out of rain. I can't see because it's too close. This island is like Squirrel. an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, I used to think that islands just kind of would How float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer oh, fling God. and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man child. He's not that hairy. He's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why? Why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? 
how do I get her killed quicker? I'm getting so Hold sick up. of this. The metaphor in the narrative by means of fork in the road. How okay. Fitting. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life? God, high road. I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. We're going up. Okay, moving up in the world. Let's do this. Plus, you're going to the treehouse hey, anyway. The darling rustic vibes this walkway is radiating, and that's no accident. I don't know what y'all are doing with your walkways, but if you're not spending a full hour pulling a splinter out of a snotty kid's finger, don't you dare call it authentic. Don't worry, the kid was fine. I'm a good counselor. And what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. What button makes her go? Oh, won't let me go. There we go. What button makes her jump off? Can I see anything down there? can't see a damn thing. Probably on purpose. This is where she was going. Also, she didn't think gunshots were weird. And they'd be able to see her walking around with this light. A pretty cool treehouse. And what she said needs a bit of maintenance, but treehouse this is where we're heading not too shabby well literally is too shabby but these views oh man you're gonna blow your tops there's also a zip line which i guess you can watch me crap my pants on that thing what the hell no you will die here aren't i i'm gonna carpe this dm so damn hard it won't know what hit it no first we gotta get there and there's still so much to talk about I hope Abby's okay. She ran off earlier. If you didn't see it, I kind of sort of made out with Nick. I but you didn't see it. I'm not like a bitch or anything. Oh, and for context, Abby likes Nick. Are you recording well, it? Actually, they like each other. In truth, I just wanted to fan the flames a little. Watching them stumble around each other like drunk jellyfish was exhausting. Poor kid was like a deer in headlights. It's cool, though. They're smart. They'll get it. I bet they're out there in the woods right now, just absolutely going for it. Again, how did she not hear the gunshots? The many that have happened. Hmm. Hmm. There's the zip line. Wait. Zip line goes from there to there, and she's terrified of it. That's a. That's pointless. B. Remember not to do that when there's this light on in there. When there's something chasing her. Keys. I think this may be one of those. I'm sorry, officer. I have no idea what you're talking about situations. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave those. Okay. I can go in. I want to go look at the zip line and see if there's anything to say about it. Yeah, nice view. Okay, glad I got a good look at that. And here we are, as promised, one extremely rickety and even more underwhelming treehouse. In another world, perhaps. 
perhaps young Jacob and I would settle down here and play house together. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. Bored. And now she's feeling her boobs again. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there. And oh look, it seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there. But I don't recognize this. Did you hear that? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings, or do we open? The spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death. No, I don't like her mouth. No, don't open the door when something's stumping Bad around. News. And you know what? I'm putting some clothes on. This is all you're getting. And of course, it fits her. That bear spray? Hmm. Taser. I don't know why she's decided to take it. Fun. Okay, so I think there's something up there. No. And it is not gonna make me jump, I can promise you that much. Why would you do that? <sighs> Goodbye, cruel world. The final curtain is calling, and there's no time for an encore. Hey, she jumped. Bear spray, the last one. Oh god, the face on him. <laughs> now that's creepy. That bear spray sucks. How's he gonna get back here? Don't! <laughs> it's very werewolf, it's cool. Spray. Even if it's only a few seconds, it gets time. That should be lasting longer than it does. Bear spray some wicked shit. The window's open, you idiot. That's a dumb werewolf. Use the tread. The window is open. What good is locking the door gonna do? on them. I thought she had a big mouth. That thing is awesome looking. Whatever it is, that thing is awesome looking. That big mouth. So I think there might be five of them, Easy. but Dylan six. I got it. He's okay. Are you in pain? Yeah? No, no, sorry, I'm just... I'm really hungry. I'll get you some food inside, okay? Right. He should be in immense pain. Oh, man. I can eat a horse. Well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola? Oh, yuck, I had granola. <laughs> no. It's giving me a chance to pick a tarot card. How is he walking that huge This will open the way? nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something to eat. He won't turn. Who started that fire? You and I are going to find a landline. 
Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yes. Yep. We'll come meet you. Copy that. I really hope they're gonna be okay. Do you think that whatever's left in the nurse's office is gonna cut it? Caitlin knows what she's doing. Does she? I, I mean, she wasn't even supposed to be working at the nurse's office this summer. She only filled in because some other girl didn't show up. It's better than nothing. Yeah, the one that got drugged. <sighs> Come on, let's go call for backup. I think you mean help. It's pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No, did you? A couple times, yeah. Why is he being targeted? Where are you going? Him and Abby had once hearing the voices. I, I I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. Interesting. Guess what, you guys? I don't think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. Yeah, they even the infection that rapidly happened got cleared up. We don't know that. No, it's true. Caitlin said. So all I'm saying is that we are not professionals, okay? We don't know. We He could have rabies or something. Way to be optimistic, man. I'm just being realistic. Yeah. With a gun. We gotta call for help. Who should I call? Uh, Mr. H? The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. You mean 911? Who says 911? I don't know. Anyway, yeah, but like, what should I ask for? Like, police? Ambulance? Ambulance, at least. Whatever. Uh, cops? Yeah, don't fuck around. There's hunters out there trying to kidnap us. So they'll say, 911, what's your emergency? And I'll say, help, help. My friends may have been attacked by bears, but maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And then one of them was kidnapped by these hunter guys with blood on their faces, and there may have been shots fired, but not by us, but also maybe by us. What? And they cut my friend Jacob down from a tree. Separate incident. Long story. What? Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. Okay. Oh. Again, brain hurt moment. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Help! We're the counselors at Hackett's Quarry. My friend was attacked by some kind of animal. He's in bad shape, and there are some hunters going around setting up traps, and we need help. End story. What is this, like, drug camp or something? And they're all burnt out? Yeesh. There's a new camp location? Oh, the treehouse counts. Okay. Wait, what did that say about the treehouse? You'll regret it? What did it say? If you look inside, you'll regret it? Chris Hack himself. That was fun. Take a look. Oh, you won't regret it. Okay. What's wrong? Dead. He well, didn't hang weird. up. Phones go dead sometimes out here. Right when you're about to call the cops? No. Nah. Not it's a like coincidence. That. Right. You try the hang up thingy. What? Here. What are you doing? I don't know. It's what they do in movies when the phone goes dead. You tap on the little thingy. We're not in a movie. Okay. Well, you know, how do you know that? Maybe that's just what they want you to think, man. <laughs> okay, so this phone's a no go. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? 
The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably rig something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. How about checking those cameras let's, while let's you're let's there? Let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. <clears throat> but no! Be calm about it, but what are you I will nuts? put it back when we're good and safe and help is on the way. Uh, okay, just careful with it. I mean, yes, I'll it is fine. a gun. Be careful. But also, why would you not want another gun? Okay. Uh, it's, it's probably the weather. What weather? What weather, Ryan? <laughs> Maybe it was the bears. Yeah, sure. Bear. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay, so for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power, what if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. <laughs> Fair point. We should probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hut. The holy freaks. Yeah, okay. Yeah. How many Let's bullets go. are there? More shells in a beach. Oh god. That's yeah, also not a hallway. Yes. Yes. Stop being I think she angry. She really needs it though. Yes. Uh, she needs it just as much as we do. She's staying in the lodge. We're going out there. You literally just said there might be something dangerous in the lodge. When? Like 20 seconds ago. Okay, sure, but that's because I really wanted the gun. Just give her the gun, man. What is that banging noise? Give it. Uh, all right, you're right. Hey, we'll still have mine. If you're extra nice to me, I'll, I might let you hold it. Don't write a check that you're asking cash. My ass Nobody got quite the bank account. Great. Nobody wonders what the banging's about. And I interrupted something. Okay, long pause. Great. No, nah, that is a very bright night. Holy hell. Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Did I miss something? Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it. Did, did I miss something there? Oh, I didn't touch any buttons. It's not even midnight yet. Damn. Yeah, that's the one you don't want to take. That's the bad one. No. I think she's safe to use it if the creature's not there. Don't speed up. Because I think the creature breaks the line. You should be able to hear that. Music now, what the hell? Oh, that didn't work. Have any 
first spray left. She's very calm about all this. The music is weird. I don't. I don't know. After the prologue, this is oh, kind of downhill. Good to see you. Good to see you. Huh. That time again, is it? Strength. Hmm. Strength this lady doesn't do it for me either. Knowing one's own raw power, tapping into it, tapping into a previously unknown energy. I suppose there are forces at work within us all. And with one hand it gives, and with the other it could rip away. The magician! <laughs> the incredible, the unbelievable, the mystical, sensational. Perceptive manipulation. The work of a magician. Now you see it, now you don't. Blink and you miss it. And you wouldn't want to miss it. As always, there's more to see. And as always, the choice is yours. Would you like to see more? I think I'm going to go with magician. Choose one. Choose wisely. I get the strength could be like the double-edged sword thing, but the magician is like something that might be quick that I can miss. Okay, chainsawing off a hand. So it's goodbye again. I'll leave you with this. Remember who your friends are. Remember who's looking out for you. See, I don't... That, that could be for the hillbillies. I don't get... I don't know. Her character is not very fun. I'm going to be honest with you. I would have loved like some shared dark lady kind of character that to her this is all just a game. Hey, I couldn't find anything to eat. The kitchen's pretty cleaned out. Oh shoot, I left my bag. I, I brought you this. Fuck, I don't even know what happened. It was all just a blur. How are you feeling? It's this one, I guess. I'm okay. I'll be okay. No, you won't. Thanks to you. No, no, I, I just helped a little. It was all Caitlin and Ryan. You were here with me. That helps. All right, we're off to find a radio or something. What's with the, um, the... Oh, uh, we found another in Mr. H's office, so just in case. Oh, what happened to the lights? Not sure. Any better? I'm doing okay. Kinda. You shouldn't be. Are they going to the radio hut? Phone's dead. They're going to try to send out an SOS or something. We're holding on the fort. Yeah, stay quiet. Don't speak up. I thought you said Dylan and Ryan already left. Stay here. I'll check it out. No! We don't know what's out there be dangerous. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna check it out. We're in a place with one entrance. <sighs> Surprised you leave the gun here.
and like very loose, uh, whatever they call that part of the shotgun. Also, don't put it over your shoulder. Hey, what the hell is that? You see that in the ground? Also, why'd you let the fire go out? If anything, that's how it's going to get in. It's the hillbilly. He's blind. I don't want to get directly involved with him just in case. Because then it might put me in a situation of deciding whether or not to shoot him. I still like her hoodie. I would love a hooded t shirt, but they're expensive. And I can't find them where I live. No Oh, come on. It's marking this as danger, so, like, I don't want to have a confrontation shoot the guy. He's blind as a bat. You know, if these guys aren't trying to kill us, he could have just said something at any point now. Hey, sir, this may not be like the best time to Again, I want to fight over a gun because it might go off, and I might need that guy. Yes, yeah, so like I was just, you know, thinking about like the start of summer and when we first met and I started camp, and well, like now that summer's over, and you know, is that. Like the last time we're gonna see each other, you know? Oh, sorry. Not the thing to be worried what, about. What hey, don't worry about Caitlin, she's tough. She I gave know. up the gun pretty quick. I'm sorry, Nick. I'm just distracted. Just this isn't the time for this. Tonight, okay? I don't care. Is there an option to not Maybe care? I was misreading the situation back there, but I kind of felt like a little bit more was going to happen. Now is not the time for this. Well, did you want a little bit more to happen? So are you dumb? Hey. Sorry. I just mean, of course I wanted it to happen. I just didn't know if you did too. That. Seems like such a long time ago now. You did want it to happen, though. Uh, um. I... You can tell me. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I guess. <laughs> Just saying that because I'm hurt. Nick. You brought it up. <sighs> oh, this hurts. Oh, my mic. What's going on out there, Caitlin? Like... Just my seat. We have died. We have died. It's okay. I got this. What do you mean you got this? Oh my god. What happened? Jesus, where's the gun? We gotta get out. No, we have to hide. Yeah, 
hide. Quick. He's walking pretty fine for that huge gash in his leg. If he would just talk, he'd be fine. Great for that huge gash in his leg. So the radio hut has like an actual radio? I thought it was just like for your morning announcements. Oh yeah, yeah. It used to be more of a actual radio station actually. Um, uh, it, you know, I mean, it, it is still technically, but nobody brings their radio to camp anymore. Yeah. It's weird actually that there used to be. Nowadays, everything we need is on the phone, but Mr. Hackett takes it on the first day of camp so that we're not distracted by technology. Um, technology giveth and it taketh. So is, is that something like that you want to go into? Camp radio? No, like uh, DJ or music or something. Oh, um, yeah, I mean, I like music, but... <laughs> I think I want to... It did the thing with a different camera angle. Quantum physics? Uh, messed up forward on the joystick. Wait, what? <sighs> yeah. Uh, you don't really seem like a science guy. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, not, not here. Um... Here, he's just one of the... I got stuck on a rock. One of the bros, man. You got to leave it up... Music parties, woo! I'm I'm sorry. I'm so completely fascinated by this. What do you mean by not here? Not here at camp. I do that at home, and then here, I um. You're a wise, wise cracking smartass. <laughs> uh, that's a little harsh, but um... no. Okay, so maybe I was a little nervous when I arrived in an uncomfortable social situation. And I overcompensated a little bit by making a bunch of jokes. You played into it. Yeah, I mean, people kind of enjoyed the blasé villain. Uh, and do, do you enjoy the blasé villain? <laughs> I can't believe we have time for this. Not yet, like, you know, whatever, man. People. I am hungry. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like Dylan Dylan. Well, it's nice to meet you, Dylan Dylan. I'm Ryan Ryan. Well, actually, I'm. Let's get the fuck out of here, Ryan. Yeah, yeah so I let's. Like He's that makes a lot of sense. Let's continue to stand around and talk. It sounds great. Going over to what looks like it. There's something there. I can see the pillar, right there, the gate. There's a sign. What time are the werewolf attacks? I don't remember this gate being here. And again, I don't think I came back here. There's a bear trap. That's something to keep oh. track of. Here we go. Something like that could really take your hands off. No, wait a minute. Yeah, I think that's one of those things that would have... What is this doing at a kid's summer camp? I don't know, man. That's... It wasn't here over the summer. I mean, if it was, then... We would have noticed that, right? Well, whatever it was trying also, to... Also, why is he all now. wet? Why is Ryan all wet? There's a vial of the blood stuff over there. Where, what's her name, found it? I'm still not sure what this is. It looks like a, yeah, it's a pool. 
which now explains why they have a pool at a summer camp instead of swimming in the lake. Nope, can't look at that again. Yes, I can. And there's that bottle. Oh, what in the name of voodoo do do is that? saying it's time for me to get a move on before I get attacked. Okay, I don't know why they put that antenna right up against the rocks like this, but whatever. All good? All good? I don't know why he's all wet. And filthy. Oh, this place is kind of a dump, huh? A bit. Okay, when I was a camper here, it was barely working. It hadn't been used for years, and it took me a really long time, actually, to get this place cleaned up and looking the way it is. So, I'm sorry if it's not up to your standards, but I've been putting in a lot of TLC. Okay, okay. okay. Let me get this set up. All right. Anything over here we can use? The power tools? No. Um, that's, Mr. H wanted more storage, so it's kind of how he lets me keep the station going. <laughs> gotcha. So, uh, how far does it go? Oh, um, well, it was designed just to broadcast to the PAs around camp for announcements and to, you know, portable radios and whatever. So, I think the range is about a mile. Okay. How do you even know all this stuff? Uh, I just kind of picked it up. Hmm. The tech technical stuff has always been a little uh, hard for me to get a handle on. I hear you, brother. Well, if you like, I could show you the ropes. Like a class? Yeah, it's easy. Like climbing. Sign me up, teach. Okay, it's not the time for this. Anyways, this thing's gonna need a bit of a power up, um, but that's where this comes in. That's my. It's supposed to be a signal booster. It's kind of janky looking, but it's worth giving a shot. So, we can actually talk to people with this thing? Yeah, well, it's not a two way radio, so, um, you know, we can talk. Uh, but then the best we can do is switch it over to the receiver and see if anyone broadcasts anything back, which is unlikely, but... Well, it, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah. So, what should I say? Uh, just, like, make it sound urgent. Okay. Oh, God, they have to rehearse this? Hello, how's it going out there? This is, uh, uh, we need help. This is, uh, we are counselors at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. 
and there's been a horrible accident attack some stuff bad here we need your help uh there is a swarm of bears and they are everywhere and there's these hunters too and they seem to be shooting at the bears but also at us um which is not good and a few of our friends are hurt and um we are in desperate need of help so please I mean, there's vicious bears and uh we don't know what to do so please uh come help us sos uh this is a, an emergency s save our ship come on down please help us that was yeah i did good no uh, swarm of bears yeah. Heard of bears. Yeah, I've heard of bears. Yeah. Fun. Oh, I don't know what they were I, called. I, I guess I should just like switch this over to the receiver and see if we get anything yeah. back. Okay, yeah. I'm going to keep an eye out while you do all this techie stuff. Okay, yeah, sure. Looking right at you now. Back it. I got a ping on the radio, but no response. I'm gonna head to the. Wait, did he? Did he say lodge? I don't know. Two males in the radio shack near the cabins. Another couple unaccounted for. Copy that. Um, now. Holy shit, they're talking about us. How? Because we just told them on the fucking radio. Fuck. They know where we are, man. We can't stay here. Shit. Shit. Hey, hey, let's, let, let's stay calm, okay? Um, let's, let's go find Caitlin and everybody, okay? Okay, yeah. Okay. One of those things is literally right there. Why didn't you tell me that there's something out there? I, I, I wasn't sure, man. Fuck, what the fuck was that? I have no idea. Now would be a good time to get the gun at the ready. Uh, Ryan? Is it a bear? I don't think bears can jump like that. Don't blind shoot at the roof. What was that? What is that? You want to stay away from the windows and keep your gun on that. Fuck. What? Caitlin, Abby, and Nick, they're coming up the path. Oh, shit. They're coming toward us. We, we, we gotta warn them. Um, what about the PA? Up top? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we can um, tell them to hide or something. Yeah. Uh. Oh, fuck, no. Oh, shit. Get on there. Uh, the... I, hold the button. Uh, Caitlin, get into a building now. Do not come up here. There's an animal outside the radio hut. Get, in, get, uh, just get into a cabin now. Go, go. go. Uh, let's see if we would have broke in, we'd, we'd been able to get in there. Oh, fuck, dude. They're gone. Uh, well, we gotta do something, come on. We gotta kill it. That's not a normal animal, man. Don't matter, shoot it. I don't think a gun's gonna cut it. Of course 
it is. Why wouldn't it be? I don't know, man. I just don't think it's a good idea to go running out guns blazing well, don't. some random ass super animal. Well, what the hell else can we do? Well, if it's got hearing like a like a dog, maybe. Uh, I mean, we could we could play a really high pitched feedback loop and crank it to the max. And I mean, it would hurt like hell, but. Okay, fine. Let's do it. Be back then. Okay, come on, Dylan. Let's do this. Um... Come on. It's almost. Hey, Dylan, just take a breath. I'm sure you can figure it out. Something missing. I do. What's missing? Oh, oh shit! It, it's attacking the cabins. Oh crap! It knocked out the wire. Really? Uh, fix it. I'll cover you. I'm confused. I'm so confused. So got an even worse mouth. have a chance to shoot this thing. Got a mouth on him. Ow. My ears. I didn't need my hearing anyway. Now the chill music is back for some reason. Is it safe? That thing's gone, but we heard those hunter guys on the radio. What? Picked up their walkie signal. They knew we were here. Fuck, you get a message out? I'm not sure anyone heard it. <sighs> Great. What the hell was going on up there? It just attacked us. Holy shrimp, you should have seen it. Dylan made some sort of crazy feedback loop and it scared it off. Ah, it was nothing. A feedback loop? Well, you know, I figured if it's like most animals, then it would have sensitive hearing, so... Okay. Hey, where's your gun? I lost it. One of the friendly locals wanted to say hi. What the fuck? Did she shoot at us? Who's there? It's a pirate. Was she? Should we follow her? Well, those other two went. Ah, oh, shit, Dylan, what is that? The chill music. So they turn back after you kill them. What is with the music? This is so weird. It's making me uncomfortable.
was I'm confused. Oh, you're back. Looks like that's one less vermin in the world. Let's take a look once more. The devil. Without restrictions, like a shadow torn from one's corporeal form. Pay close attention and act before the demons unleashed. Each of us have one. Even those who are pure of heart and say their prayers by night. Here we have the Hermit. With the Hermit comes isolation, loneliness, but reflection, too. Perhaps, given some thought, the Hermit who gives chase can guide you to safety. But that all depends on your actions, not his. That's about getting help from the others. I want to show you more. Would that be all right? I'm going to go with the devil, because that's about paying attention to stuff. Two futures to see, but only one can be seen. Make your choice. about him turning. We spend so much time looking toward the future. It's easy to forget that the past holds secrets too. Worth remembering it's now. It's telling you to pay attention to what's happened before. So it's goodbye again. I'll be here. I'll wait for you. That's creepy. Hey, we're back with Jacob. Who is still naked. Emma! Jesus Christ. Jesus! <laughs> Fuck! Hey, Grandma here. Man. God, this thing sucks ass. Jacob. Emma, is that you? So now Creepy Grandma has spoken about Dylan, Jacob, and Abby. Okay. Let me review any clues I got. Oh, I got a new one. The radio hut. And the pool house. Okay. Evidence. Claw marks. Clues. Bear trap. Ooh. Okay. All right. I'm going to end this here. But for now, I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe for more. It helps me out a lot. And as always, I'm going away. Until then, hope you have a good one.